This whole competition is a pressure cooker for these guys. Every day they're stressed out, they're training, they're beating their body up. This is the, the day that they really get to relax and have some fun. They're cheering on their coaches. All right, guys, welcome to Dig This and the Coaches Challenge, which is my favorite part of the season. This is the day that all the pressure is on the coaches and you guys get to kick back and relax. So obviously what's gonna happen here today is you guys are gonna compete in three different competitions while driving excavators. <laughs> the winning coach will get $10,000 and each fighter on the winning team gets 1,500 bucks. Alright guys, welcome to Dig This and the Coach's Challenge, which is my favorite part of the season. First, fill a 14-yard dumpster with dirt. From there, you're going to drive to the next station. You're going to build a pyramid by moving three large tires from point A to point B. Then you're going to drive to the last station. You will have to scoop up a basketball off the cone and drop it into the large tire. The first one to do that wins the competition the $10,000 and the 1500 bucks for each one of your fighters. Good luck, guys. I've never been on one of these, but my father-in-law owns an excavation company. And uh, had I known what this was, I would have given him a call and got at least a little bit of tips verbally. But, uh, but no, this is a new experience. Listen, I come to win. That's it. You know, you want to win, put phones in. So. We got it, baby. We're gonna get it done. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, yeah! Usually every coach's challenge is some type of sports-related, uh, you know, competition. I think this is the first time we've ever done anything like this. It's gonna be pretty cool. All right. You guys ready to go? Yep. On your marks. Get set. Go! done this before yeah. there's no doubt when we first came out the gate John was scooping right up and dumping dirt in there yeah, baby. and then all of a sudden John started to fall apart and Chael started to get the hang of it Chael got bigger scoops of dirt and he filled up his bucket first or his dumpster first Chael must be done now, Chael, you're going to go and uh, reach over those tires. Chael fills his dumpster up first and moves on to the tire stacking. He's ripping tires back and forth, and I had the headphones on so I could hear him, and Chael's talking smack to John the whole time. Hey, John, you know they, they said go, right? You can start the competition. John's headphone working. Somebody let him know that we've begun oh, yeah. the competition. Oh, yeah, you're all right, Chael. Go right over there? Oh, all right, Just brother. Help out. Slow and steady wins the race. It looked real ugly for our team at one point. Then we moved to the tires. Uh, Chell was also uh, winning at that at the, at the beginning because he did good in the dumpsters. Uh, Chell had two tires already over there while I was still on one side, dealing with one tire. The idea is to, to pick the tire up. So you want to, you want to, uh, uh, so you want to pick. I'm trying to help. See if you'll just if you'll pick the tire up, then you can move it. Yeah, all right. The tire thing went really well. I got a really good feel for the thumb. I was moving the tires. I couldn't stack the suckers up. You know, when you release it, you got a balance issue. Now it's not just put it in a certain place. And I was so frustrated. Thing, I, I don't know why I can't get this. So it's like starting over from scratch. John, give me an update. I can't see over there. Well, I'm doing all right, Chael. Chael's having trouble stacking the pyramid, and John comes back. All of a sudden, his tires were spread apart just enough for that thing to maybe balance on there if he was good enough to do it. Yeah. Oh. And he comes back and literally sets that thing right on top, builds the pyramid, shoots down, and he's gonna win the competition. Todd the Jones, bringing it on home. There you go. Chael started off winning, but we caught up on that third tire with precision and just 
you know, being patient and calm and relaxed. <laughs> Let's go! Big to the basketball uh, part of the competition where we pre pretty much had to pick up a basketball with this million pound machine. This is tougher than it looks. This is gonna be. Push it quick. Oh, he got it! Holy <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Second half, second half. Sorry guys. He scoops the basketball out. He's got it right over the tire. The ball rolls out. Oh, ah, yeah! Oh my god, that was so close! So Chael gets down there, scoops up his ball. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Oh, man! Chael wins the coach's challenge, he wins the $10,000, and his whole team wins $1,500 each. Uh... Chell has won the bowling tournament. He has won the coach's challenge. Uh, but we're here to win the fights, you know, so came up short. But I may be down, but I'm not out. <laughs> One more for the bad guys! <laughs> when, when I won and the thing went in and I saw the guys celebrating, that, that was pretty cool, you know. Uh, I've been cheering these guys on ever since we got here. I've been coaching them and, and, and getting them ready to go. And, the roles were reversed today, which is kind of what the fun part in the spirit of competition that the Coach's Challenge is all about.